Hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. I operate a small business here in southwest France. Uh, I've got a little project I want to do today. Um, it's a little something basically for me really more than anything else. Um, I want to build a, a garden brazier. Um, fairly heavy duty one. You can buy them in the, in the Brico and the DIY shops but uh, you know for a couple of hundred euros but they tend to only last about a year or maybe two years at the most. If you're lighting a fire, I mean, they're made of quite thin material. So they don't last very long really. So I'm gonna make something a little bit stronger so that uh, it can last a few years. Okay, so follow me in the next few steps and well, let's see how this project goes. As you can see, what I've done initially, I've just bent this bar around the outside of this former. Uh, just to give it a rough idea and um, put a little bit of memory into the into the steel uh, to get into the radius because to try and pull it inside here without put doing a, a, an initial bend on it uh, it would be real really really difficult so now I'm going to release these clamps it's going to go quite big but um, at least it it'll be a partial radius uh, or partial circle um, it won't be complete but um, it will make it slightly easier to get on the inside of the, of the former. Right, so that's, that's, as you can see, I have a partial uh, circle. So now I'll, I'll position this inside the, the former, clamp it hard in there, and then I can start pushing this into the former itself, clamping it. On, on the way round because obviously it will try to spring out as much as possible. So we'll go into here. Once we get it in there, then uh, I can then put a weld on it. But uh, as I say, the initial part is actually getting it into the former. It is quite difficult, obviously. Uh, I'll give this a tap down. get a clamp on here to try and pull it in a bit more. We're almost there. Oh dear, that's hard work. Excuse me, puffing and panting. It's quite difficult to bend this into it to get enough leverage onto it. Right, so we've got that in there. Tap that down into there. And hopefully, some of these clamps will pull back in a little bit more. This one. Right. I'll just release this one a little bit so I can bring it back a little bit further. So then clamp into there. And hopefully, I can tap this one down. To the form. Get that in there. 
I could mark this at the edge of the, the, the cut line. Excuse my head in the shot. Now I just need to grind that out of there. You know, I cut it out. So we'll use an angle grinder now to just to cut that. down into there get that to line up nicely that's fine and I'll just put a put a weldy tack on that just to hold it in place place until I release the clamps and take it out of the former. Don't take much notice of the of the weld, it's not a very nice weld at the moment, but uh, once I get it out of the former I can put proper weld onto it. So we'll just lever this out, he says with great confidence. It will come out, I can assure you. So there we have all four hoops uh, ready to try and start building this uh, this brazier, garden brazier. As you can see, they're, they're not perfectly round, but uh, they're not too bad, actually. So, okay, job well done. Bit of a struggle getting them, getting the, the steel to, to mould into the, into the former, but uh, we got there in the end with, with the use of lots of clamps. So uh, yeah, quite good. Here you can see I'm just grinding a radius uh, onto the ed well onto the top end of the of the spars. Uh, I'm using a linisher here because it's so much easier than trying to do it with a, a hand grinder um, or an angle grinder. Um, so I can just run this round. Um, obviously, the table on the on the uh, linisher is not exactly 90 degrees, so I have to sort of turn it over and and just uh, blend in the the radius, so that I get a radius on on you know on the, basically the whole top of the of the spindle um, or spar, whatever you want to call them. Really, um, it's not a big radius. It's not a full radius. I'm just putting a sort of um, probably about a 20 mil radius, roughly. Uh, on each on each corner, basically, uh, the, the spar is is uh, third, forty mil. So uh, yeah, it's it's almost twenty mil di uh, radius on there, so it comes in quite nice. Then I'll just use the fine wheel on the side just to take the burr off and to clean the edge up so that it looks a little bit more presentable. Now we'll just start welding this up. Uh, I've put it up on a piece of aluminium so that I can hold it reasonably square uh, to the edge of to the well to the edge of the table. Basically, uh, I've got the one of the hoops 
uh, clamped against the, the side of the table and I'll just tack that on and that, uh, that'll give me a start. Um, so I'll start from there and then I'll start building up, uh, adding rings to it. Um, and we'll just put one ring in first, just to try and get, uh, get this thing lined up. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad actually, if I can just hold it in the right place. I'll just finish welding this before I go any further. Uh, I just tacked it initially just to, to hold it in place. So now that it's finished, now that I've just finished welding it, um, that should be okay then. Then I can start assembling from there. As you can see, I've assembled up uh, quite a few of the spars and put the hoops in place. Uh, it was a bit of a laborious job actually, so I didn't bother uh, recording that uh, wasn't really much point in making a video of me trying to put that together especially with all the huffing and puffing and and, and you know, was a little bit of swearing as well probably on the side uh, when I was trying to get things to line up and and get them in the right place but uh, it's starting to take shape now so I'm having to clamp it against the, each hoop uh, basically so that everything gets pulled into line uh, so it's coming in quite well actually, uh, most of them are lining up quite well, I'm having to, as I say, I'll, I'll just tack the, well, weld the end pieces, or the top and bottom, and then I'll put a clamp on the, in, the, the two inner rings, uh, just to, to weld those, those bits in. So uh, they're coming on quite well actually, so uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with that, the way it's coming on. So uh, this is, this drags on a little bit this, I'm afraid, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to show you how much, I haven't speeded it up really basically because I'm trying to show you how much work actually is involved in say, something like this because it's, it's not something you can just knock out in, in four, four or five minutes, you know, it's, uh, it's quite complex actually trying to get things lined up, lined up and get everything in the right place. So yeah, now that that's in place, I'll just offer up one of the legs. Uh, which I've made beforehand. So yeah, that's, that's okay, they're gonna line up all right. Now I'll just uh, weld on the legs, which I preformed uh, beforehand. So they're, they're at, at the right shape to form the legs, just to look nice. I've speeded this one up quite a bit, actually. Uh, in fact, I think it was actually filmed on time-lapse. So, uh, because trying to see me welding all these on, uh, I've, I've tacked all each side and then I'm turning it round and welding the other side of, of any spars that I've missed. So, uh, yeah, just to get it, everything so that it's all welded up quite neatly. So here we are on the final stages, basically. Uh, trying to get some, just laying in some spars in the bottom to form the, the, well, basically like a grate in the bottom or a grill, uh, so that the ash can fall through. Uh, and, uh, but trying to hold them in place and operate uh, the, the welding gun and pull my mask, my mask down, uh, wasn't easy actually trying to get everything coordinated and trying to get them reasonably parallel. They don't have to be perfect, but uh, as long as they look reasonably parallel, uh, I don't want it to look too, well, scruffy in any way or shabby so it, it needs to look fairly neat i'll just weld a couple of these in just uh, so you can see how this thing uh, takes uh, well how it takes shape basically um i have to keep clipping off the the welding uh, welding wire because it it uh, clogs up a little bit in the end of the nozzle when i'm working so close to something uh, so just try and get this one on the other side. I'll just tack it on and and then I can I can do the other end, line it up and weld that in there like that. And then I can weld the whole thing in properly uh, so that uh, it, it'll form, as I say, it'll form a, like a grate in the bottom of the, of the brazier.
So we, here we have the finished item. It looks quite smart, actually, I think. Well, personally, I mean, I suppose I'm a little bit biased, but, uh, but yeah, I think that should last a few years as well. And burn off lots of old garden rubbish. And, uh, yeah, it looks quite smart. Well, there you are. There's the garden brazier, all made, all finished. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. I don't think. Um, it's, certainly wouldn't be able to sell it for as much as it cost me to make it. Uh, there's quite a lot of hours of work in it, and obviously there's about uh, 40, 50 euros worth of steel involved in it also, but uh, the amount of hours way, way too expensive to try and sell it. But uh, I will sell it in the end, I suppose, but uh, obviously not for as much as it actually cost me. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it was a little bit, uh, bit hit and miss really with a lot of it because trying to get the camera near the welder without damaging the camera is not easy. So uh, anyway, look out for more videos in the future. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and uh, obviously share as well if you wish um, share with as many people as you'd like because the more people who see my work then obviously the better it is for me so in the future look out for more more videos and uh, if you haven't already done so look for look uh, back at some of my previous videos not all welding i got some machining on the lathe and on the milling machine so uh, anyway look out for me in the future and in the meantime, I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye.